Welcome to NetSuite's demonstration for invoice grouping. I'll start off in the sales manager role and then transition to the accounts receivable role to finish the process. As the sales manager, I can see that I have one sales order to approve. So let's take a look. When I open the sales order for Abbott Inc., I can see there's a checkbox marking this for invoice grouping. I can set this preference at the customer level but I always have the option to uncheck this box when creating a new sales order. Now I will go ahead and approve this sales order so that our AR team can go ahead and generate the invoice that needs to be sent to the customer. I'll transition to the accounts receivable role in order to generate the invoice. As the AR specialist, I can see that I have 26 sales orders to invoice. So let's take a look. As I look into the sales order for Abbott Inc., I see we need to generate the invoice. On the invoice screen, I can see that the box marking this for invoice grouping has been automatically checked since it was checked on the sales order. I'll go ahead and save our invoice and we'll be able to see that it has been updated. It is currently marked as open and ungrouped as I have to manually assign it to a group. Additionally, we could unmark it for grouping at this stage if we wanted to, but we group our invoices, so I will leave it as such. Now, I wanna generate my invoice groups, so I will go ahead and navigate to that list. Now we can see all the invoices that can be grouped. Additionally, we could filter by customer as well as invoice date if we wanted to get a more specific view. NetSuite uses a variety of criteria to generate invoice groups, including customer, subsidiary, currency, and terms. You can also group by PO number by checking the group by PO number checkbox on the left-hand side. Finally, we could click mark all in order to generate all of our invoice groups or individually generate our invoice groups, which is what we will do. I will go ahead and submit my invoice grouping. As NetSuite processes the grouping, I will be notified of the submission status. NetSuite will let me know if there were any errors during the process. Finally, I can click into our submission status in order to see the invoice group that we have created. We've successfully created the invoice group for Abbott and are able to see all of the invoices that make up this invoice group. Additionally, as always, I have the ability to drill into the individual invoices by clicking on the invoice number. Any changes made to individual invoices will automatically be updated here on the invoice group record. Finally, I want to be able to ensure that our customer is seeing the appropriate version. So I will go ahead and take a look at our PDF. Here we can see the summary version, which is exactly what I want the customer to see. I also have the option to create a detailed version of the invoice, which will include the line items for each individual invoice. Thank you for watching this demonstration. If you have any questions, please reach out to your account manager.